All right, so this demo is gonna be talking about how to start enlarging your photograph. Um, and what you need is your paper. Uh, I recommend the reused BFK sheet. Again, we're working on a four by five. If you have a ruler, a ruler would be good, um, or a straight edge just kind of mark off your lines. Uh, if you don't have a ruler, I would say uh, there are apps on your iPad or phone that you can use. Um, look up, you know, ruler apps. Um, the other thing would just be your HB pencil. Um, right here um, and then a pencil sharpener uh, is also ideal you want to keep your pencil sharp for when you're uh, working all right so uh, one thing you want to do is have your photo up this lovely photo of me is what I'm uh, using for my reference uh, the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off my uh, my screen t um, turning off uh, I'm gonna change that in my settings and then also I'm going to hit edit this way I, I'm looking at it a little bit closer uh, to what the size of my photo is going to, or I'm sorry, the, the size of my final image, which is four inches by five inches. So that's how I recommend working. Um, and I'm just going to leave it in there for when I'm working and, and checking out my stuff. Um, and then the other thing I'm going to start doing is just mark off uh, my four by five. So here I'm going to kind of work as high as I can. This will be my four inch, you know, try to keep it as straight as you can. It doesn't need to be perfect. And worst case scenario, if you go a little bit bigger, it's okay because we can crop. So there's my four inch mark. And now I'm looking at my five. And you don't need to tape or anything for this. Um, just you know, just mark your lines. Might be it might be a good idea to work outside of the four by five box a little bit too. So there we go. It looks like about five. Okay. Um, and again, if I if I go a little bit outside, that's okay. All right. So at this point, I'm going to start looking at uh, my image and starting to translate. And what I'm looking for again, like I talked about before, is really just, um, you know, about where do I think information is, so. How's it going, baby? But something happened. What happened? Elsa's, Elsa's shoe is lost. Elsa's shoe is lost. Where is it? I don't know. What color is it? Blue. Blue? Yeah. Her boot? Is it not over there? No. I don't know what to find. It was white. It was white in my princess pass over you bought me. It was right inside there? Yeah. So some of the things I'm looking at here are just where, you know, where does my nostril here connect up into my eye about how far over um, so like even like right now I'm noticing okay I pushed it over a little bit too far so I'm just gonna push that back having a racer on hand is always good and I'm just I'm really not pressing really very hard here I'm just kind of trying my best to to sketch it out okay looking again how where does that match up with the eye it does go in a little bit how far okay we'll say about here um, another thing you know uh, there will be another demo when I start doing my shading and stuff here um, but one thing you want to make sure you do when you start shading, you do not want to smudge your piece. Okay. Um, any value we want to create fully with just the weight of the pencil. So when I start going in and doing that stuff, uh, I'm not quite at that point, obviously, cause I'm still sketching this out, but that'll be something that you really want to try to, um, avoid is smudging your pencil. We're just going to let everything build up. Um, and, and work everything. Um, you know, by pressure. And you can kind of see me just double checking some of the spacing and, um, you know, where things line up is kind of what I'm looking at. So even like this tooth, it looks like it's about the middle. So I may be drawing a little bit too big there. So I'm going to need to shift stuff around. Again, like it's going to look weird here for, for the time being. 
And one thing I notice is that the uh, the darks in the eyes make help the piece. Like once I start getting all my darks pushed in, that's definitely something that changes the piece. So like if you're looking, you know, you're like, oh, this looks really weird right now. Don't worry about it. It's not a huge deal. Um, and it'll, it'll you know, work itself out. So um, a couple years ago, we I had a, a student do a really nice piece. I'll try to post that in the slides for today or tomorrow if I can find it. Um, and just really like looked super, super good. Um, just spent a lot of time refining. And, you know, there were times like when I would come over to the demo and just and be like, hey, this is this is off like this is not right. And she did a great job, you know, um, fixing stuff when she knew it was not right. Like right now I'm looking at my side of my face here and you can see this. There's some issue in here. So I don't know if that means I maybe extended my eye too much or I maybe made the eye a little bit too big. So all this is just going to be you got to be honest with yourself. OK, you want this thing to look right. I think my face maybe is a little bit too far in there so I'm gonna move that out all right and it's gonna look weird and you're gonna make mistakes you're gonna make uh, changes along the way everything's gonna kind of come together though so you know my advice is as you're drawing this out again you can see I'm just sticking with line work um, going real basic information um, I tend to not draw my my beard a lot and my characters and stuff so this is a little bit of a challenge because I don't generally do that um, another thing that'll come in handy is if you know you don't need it to do this, but um, having like a small eraser just on like a normal pencil to go in later and pull out some of the highlights after you make some dark. So like I'm looking at my mustache here has a little bit of glare on some of the parts to it. So that's something that I want to kind of pay attention to um, and just be aware of. You know that 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 might be an area that I could go in later and think about. Like you know I could do the shading of my teeth. And then eventually go in and pull out some of like the really, really sharp highlight points. So. And again, like right now, just drawing, I'm noticing things like I'm like, okay, I, I see the whole tooth in my picture, but as I'm drawing it, I'm not including the whole tooth. So what's going on? Am I making it too big? You know, these are things that I got to be aware of and and correct and be honest with myself about. And yeah, it, it can be frustrating because you're like, okay, this is not right. Um, but I, I really, you want to, if you want to be a good artist and you want to learn how to draw, um, it's, it's part of it being honest with yourself and being like, okay, this does not look right. Now, you know, when you draw characters and you're like, okay, like this maybe doesn't look right, but are you okay with it? That's a little bit different. But when we're drawing realistically and we're trying to make something look, um, as realistic as we can possibly make it, then that's one of the things that's super important. You can see I'm starting like starting to feel like it's going pretty well. I'll probably at some point need to take a step back, you know, take a break from it and, and relook at it because, you know, you start you start just getting in the ground of drawing and we're not looking at stuff. I'm like, oh, this is a, you know, this is a part of the face I've drawn before. Well, right, but you haven't drawn maybe from this exact angle or from this exact viewpoint or with this exact shading. And those are things that are going to change the way so, uh, I'm looking at maybe even like the my shoulder here when that kind of lines up a little bit down you know so I want to get all this stuff right I want to make this thing look as as realistic as I can and uh, part of what's gonna really pull this thing together is when I start getting my value and you can see I'm doing a little bit of shading right but I'm also um, just very lightly doing it and I'm letting I'm not smudging okay I'm gonna let everything happen with I feel like this eyes maybe too far over now to this direction so I might need to shift shift that over um, it's really just, you know, it's a labor of love here. Okay, it's gonna look weird, like I said. Like I, right now, I'm like actively being like, okay, this looks weird, and it doesn't look right in some spots, and I need to, you know, correct those spots. I need to remedy those spots at some point. So, all right, and I'm gonna leave it there, and I'll pick up with a with a demo later.